Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a singles love reading for Aries. Hope you guys are well. Let's see what's happening. Who is coming around towards you? Today I'm using my lucky sand dollar. No, it's not real. It's a die cast, okay? <laughs> it's for anybody who's curious. Aries, Aries, who's coming towards you for love? Who's interested in you? New love connections, new love prospects for Aries. Aries, Aries, new love connections for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Aries, 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 new love connections, new love prospects. Who's interested in you, Aries? Aries, who is interested in Aries? New love connections, new love prospects. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, things are, something is about to get moving here. Some of you may be weighing the pros and the cons between a couple of people. So uh, I feel as though there's one person here. You may feel like you need to protect yourself. There's something here. You got your guard up against one person. You may be weighing the pros and the cons. I feel as though there is someone headed your way. They could be a cancer, but they don't have to be. This is Major Arcana. It can be anyone coming in with this energy. This is somebody who wants success. They're going to try to come in and balance things out, but there may be a lack of balance at the way this person comes in. Maybe they want to move too quickly. So you might have your guard up a little bit. It's okay. It's pretty natural to feel that way. Yeah, so there is something definitely happening. Things are going to go in your favor. There is a new start. So you're ending an old cycle and starting a new one. This is, wow, somebody really wants to take control. They want to come in. But the problem here definitely is they may be coming in too quickly okay or wanting to go too fast so you're in that protective mode and that's like i said it's perfectly natural to feel that way and that's how maybe you will get things in your favor so i feel like you may be the one to have to take control of this to make sure things go in a balanced manner very positive energy here doesn't look like that'll be a big problem you may take a stab and say whoa let's slow her down a little bit here <laughs> could be the other way around as well Aries yeah so you have there it is yeah so I do feel here you're going to be careful you're going to weigh the pros and the cons before you take a leap of faith before you trust anyone but you will be trusting yourself your own judgment things will go in your favor so I do feel you are ready you're looking back at a situation here where maybe there was something out of balance with another person you may have had to take a stand and this is how you get things to go in your favor as well but i do see this leap of faith i see a new beginning so yeah so watch this energy too don't focus on the negative too much here you may be too focused on negative be a little guarded it may make it hard for people to come towards you if you're in that energy so I feel this is an energy of everything happens for a reason. So you may be in that energy where you may need to take your guard down. There is somebody who does want to come in. Maybe they feel a little off balance. They're not sure. Maybe because you have your wall up. But you know yourself. So you will, uh, if you resonate with that, take your guard down a little bit. Be careful here about what you believe because I feel you may be thinking a lot uh, of negative thoughts about a certain situation or just dating in general. So there is some wise counsel here. So it's telling you, you may not have a lot of faith. So you have your guard up. You have a hard time when someone comes towards you believing that they have your best intentions. And, uh, th you know, this is that issue here with this dreamer looking at this wheel of fortune, making sure some things go in your favor, that there's some kind of balance. And because uh, you don't want anything unbalanced, that gets, that's what's got your guard up in the first place. So try to release negative thoughts, negative patterns, okay, because some of you have possibly don't have a lot of faith that things will go in your favor, that things will go well. Release those negative patterns. So we have, yeah, see, there you go. There is a need for truth and clarity. I feel there is a person around you that wants to talk. They want to communicate. They may have a little bit of uh, trouble uh, communicating at first, but they are going to try. And I feel they're going to try to have things move in their favor. So you could have someone here who wants to go quickly. They want things their way. So you may not have a lot of faith that you will get what you want out of this. So 
Again, there's a need for clarity, a need for truth. So I feel like there's a person who wants to talk to you. They want to communicate. Uh, they may not have communicated their intentions in the past, and uh, but I feel they're going to come in and sort of shed some light on the situation. So we have an Aries. So you could have another Aries coming towards you. I see a Knight of Pentacles energy as well. I see an Earth Rhyme, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there is someone who's coming in. Slow and steady wins the race, regardless. Yeah, see, there's a need for control. Someone wants success, but I feel they know they need to come in in a balanced manner. You're a little guarded and defensive. There is some negative energy. Maybe you don't have a lot of faith. Some of you, I feel, it's just that wall up, right, where you don't have a lot of faith that things will move towards in your favor, that there'll be any commitment. So there's a lack of faith. And there, because maybe in the past, all right, you're used to these unbalanced relationships. Uh, you're not getting the whole truth, the clear, the, the picture off the get-go, so it throws you off. And then you start to think negative. But there is someone here who's loyal, dedicated, protective, a little apprehensive at times, so they have a tendency to move slow. So definitely try not to over control a situation. Just try to find that balance with this person. There's a need for clarity, for truth. Okay, because I feel there is someone who does want to talk to you. They could be checking you out already to see if you're in any kind of a relationship or commitment before they come in. They may be wondering if things can go in their favor with you. They're willing to go slow and steady. So someone who's going to look at the details, think before they speak. Because this is somebody who, you know, this is an energy, brilliant ideas that may, to re, may need refinement. So this person's going to think before they leap towards this. Make sure that they're very clear about what they want to say. Ooh, this is somebody fairly serious here. But you definitely, maybe you've communicated something to someone. You don't have a lot of faith in, in uh, things going in your favor. Uh, maybe there's this negative energy. There's a lack of trust maybe with a certain person okay, that's coming towards you. It may work out this way. But it's basically about just talk to this person, communicate. You may need to listen to what they have to say as well. So we have the Hierophant. Yeah, so there could be a Taurus. This is someone here who, they're trying. This is someone who's trying to keep the faith. Okay, this is somebody who's trying to get themselves into balance. They're trying to figure out a way to kind of take control, to move things forward, and to keep the faith because there's that lack of faith. Yeah, so there is this movement. So there is something here about balance. Definitely, with the chariot is about balance, controlling the emotions, using all the power you have to control a situation, to keep the faith, to allow things to move. All right, allow things to evolve naturally. So, wow, you guys, whoever this is that's around you, this person's serious. They're thinking, going to think before they speak. They're going to look at the details, be very careful what they say. They're very well aware, okay, very well aware that they need to just kind of go with the flow. They are trying to keep the faith. They're trying to balance out their emotions as well. But they do have a tendency to want to control things, all right? Or maybe you're that way and they feel like they are they may lose control of a situation, all right? Wow, so we have the six, yeah? So I feel as though there's somebody definitely coming towards you. And uh, you. I feel as though you're, you have this energy where your guard is up. You feel like this person may be coming towards you when they just when they want attention. And you're having a hard time believing this person may be even interested in you. All right. Wow. Yeah. So you're in that energy of be careful. You're being careful what you wish for here. But I feel as though there is some kind of success. I feel as if you can take your guard down just a little bit. Things actually could go in your favor. You may be actually getting something you want. But I feel there is a person here who controls their emotion. They may wear a mask at first. They may not because they may be guarded feeling a little defensive as well. That's why they're going to be careful what they say and how they approach you. The wheel. Why is the wheel here for Aries? Who is interested in you with this wheel energy, Aries? Who is this person? I do think feel things will start going in your favor. Yeah, see, both of you, there's, there's love here. Things are going to start moving in your love life. I feel you're ready to take a leap of faith. You want it, but you're being careful. There is a, this energy of caution of being careful what you wish for you and this person both want things to go in your favor okay 
this will move forward. So, and it's possible too, one of you may have ended something with another person and you're ready to take a leaf into something new. I see you looking back at past energies and uh, so it's telling you to sort of look at, look at your past. Uh, maybe the way you've conducted yourself in a relationship, maybe your guard is up. Okay, you have your guard up a little bit, you're a little bit leaning more towards being careful what you wish for, but you see this energy, things will go in your favor if you can take your guard down. Yes, trust your intuition. This is an energy of going in and soul searching, going deep within yourself, all right? Things will go in your favor, just trust your intuition. It may be telling you that, you may be getting this you know, little thoughts in your head where, oh, maybe I'm too guarded, too defensive. Maybe I have trust issues. Go within, search. You have all the answers that you need, okay? You will figure this situation out. So yes, this is the thing. You, <laughs> Your intuition's telling you that if you take your guard down, things could go in your favor. There's a cycle that's ending. Somebody who's coming towards you may be ending something, or you may be, but this is the end of past belief traditions, past habits, okay? Some of you have a habit of being guarded, and, uh, you know, there's this energy of wanting things to go your way, so you're very guarded. When it looks like things aren't going your way, or they're not flowing the way you want, that guard is up. You become defensive, and you take a stand. Look at that. Yes, things are going to go in your way. You've had a tough time in love, and that's usually what happens. And I feel like there's a lot of times you're not offering that cup of love. You're afraid that things won't go your way, that if you share your feelings, you share your emotions. But take a look at your beliefs. Maybe you feel if you hold back, don't say anything, don't share those emotions, don't offer up any any love. Uh, that things will happen but it's because of trust issues and it's telling you to look at things differently all right allow things to go with the flow just see what happens with this person i feel there is love here i feel like you both want things your way I feel like you both want to move forward you both could be going through this hierophant learning all right from your past because i see with this fool looking into the past thinking about the past energies past people you dated the times you've been hurt because i see there's this you know the queen of cups is a very uh, somebody who can go within and heal themselves and you see with this pisces energy some of you may have Pisces in your chart, or you may have a Pisces person who is uh, soul searching, thinking about you, how to talk to you, how to communicate, how to be clear. And they are definitely coming towards you with a slower moving energy. This is someone who knows they need to take it easy, I think. You have some trust issues here. Tell me about this five. Yeah, but I, look at that. There is two cups here. There is a trust. Both of you probably have a lack of trust, a lack of faith in this situation. But yet the interest is there because look at that. There's that love. You both want it. You're both wanting to connect. Focus. There we go. Yeah, so we have the eight of wands. So I feel as though some of you need to leave something in the past. Take your guard down. All right. Don't be afraid to turn around and offer up that cup, but I can see you're very stuck here. This is that on and off sort of situation. Maybe you've had a lot of on and off relationships in the past. You may have uh, had the habit of offering up your cup, your love, your emotions to get things going, but now you're not doing that. You've changed the way you're doing things. You're changing it. I can see that your traditions and your habits. So there may be some food for thought there. So there is this energy of walking away from the past, leaving these negative thoughts in the past to be able to move towards. This is wise counsel, making a wise decision, trusting your intuition, okay? But this, there's also this need for balance, again, to make things flow, because there is a need for some kind of change to happen. And it's not you. The other person may be going through a similar situation, you know, or they have these trust issues as well. But it, it's really time to just go with the flow. Allow things to evolve. See what happens. And I feel like, yes, if, if there's something that you really want, like I can see you really want this love, but you're not offering that cup to anybody. Okay, because of trust issues, leave it behind so you can move towards that emotional fulfillment. Wise counsel. Some of you have been learning, you know, this is the school of hard knocks, learning the hard way to go with the flow. It's time for change. There we go. Yeah, so there is somebody who is thinking of offering you 
uh, some sort of a commitment because I feel like this is what you want. You want a commitment. You want something solid, someone you can rely on. You want the truth. You want clarity. And I feel as though maybe in the past there was a situations where things didn't turn out the way you wanted. So you've changed the way you're handling yourself and your love life. You're not offering up that cup as easily. Okay, but you may be going a little bit extreme. So it's telling you to find a balance. I do feel there's an offer coming. You may even have several people coming towards you. Uh, one may be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here as well. Uh, definitely some strong Gemini and Taurus energy for some of you. Maybe a Gemini, Taurus, Cusp feel like yeah see there's somebody here that's a little obsessed with you they're up in their head thinking 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 it could be a capricorn this is someone who is looking for answers thinking about how to approach you what to say how to say the right thing this is somebody who's very much interested in you and this is someone who likely acts like they don't care. They may be a little bit aloof, but I feel as though this person actually does care. They may have had their guard up as well, maybe felt defensive. They were afraid to move forward. If, you know, this is that fear, wearing that false mask, someone acting like they're not interested when they actually are, acting like they don't care. Could be you, could be them. But I feel as though there's a need to be set free from this pattern, this habit, the way you see things, the way you see yourself in relationships as well, and how you're conducting yourself. And it's them too. It's not just you. You're both going through some kind of change. And the message is, go with the flow, see what happens. Speak clearly, listen to each other, okay? Very interesting. So yeah, so I feel there's somebody who could be checking you out on social media, looking to see what happens. I might be a little bit obsessed with you or just thinking about you a lot. They're trying to act like they don't care, but they do. So I also feel you may have met this person recently at a some kind of social event, social media, online dating. It's hard to say. It's going to be different for everybody here. And I feel like there's a this person is learning something. They may be watching you learning something. They're coming towards you. They could be at a distance. But see this communication? This is that cerebral energy communication, mercury energy, I feel, because we have, there could be a Virgo here as well. Gemini energy very much too coming towards you. I feel there's some kind of communication gap. There's a need to listen to each other. There's a need to communicate clearly to move forward. So there may be somebody coming towards you and they're learning something about themselves, thinking about moving forward calmly and peacefully, just letting things sort of flow, see where, seeing where it goes. But it's down the middle. You're both going through a similar energy when you connect. So they may be, some of you could be online dating. This person could be at a distance, I feel. Uh, but a lot of you, it's just about the communication. There's a distance between your communication. There's a need to listen, the need to both speak your truth, communicate clearly. That's what it's telling you. If you want this to move forward successfully, this is what it's telling you to do with this person as they approach you. They may already be in your energy. You may have already met them, but there's a gap in the communication. So yeah, I feel as though this person's definitely trying to gain the strength and the confidence. I see a Leo energy for some of you. This person feels that pull towards you. All right, there is this need to come in, but this is someone who's trying to rein things in. They're trying to control the speed at which they move. Okay, not to rush. This may be telling you, don't rush into this, Aries. You know, sometimes you have it of rushing into things too quickly. So I feel as though you're doing things differently. You're not moving as quickly. You're not taking that leap of faith, but you are keeping the faith. You're hoping things will go in your favor. And you feel by doing that, by not offering up those emotions, not sharing your feelings, not being in that queen of cups energy of being all loving and nurturing uh, to this person until you see how things go to see where it goes really nice energy wow yeah so there is some lessons here with the hierophant to be learned so it's telling you to listen so maybe listen to this reading see if this fits you if your guard is up and uh, there may be something you need to set yourself free from. And I do feel it is trust issues, but it's the other person too. And I feel like when you come together and talk, things could actually move forward 
quite well yeah so there is calling in your soulmate so this person could be your soulmate maybe you need to um take some time to think about this take your time with this person let things evolve see where it goes learn each other get a little bit closer get to know you so i feel this person wants to get to know you and i feel like if you met them they acted like they weren't interested but believe me this person is interested okay they're just trying to get their head screwed on straight at how to communicate because sometimes when people become a little obsessed with you or they can't stop thinking about you you know uh, they become that way this is someone who has trust issues possibly themselves so they're afraid to show you that they care and i feel like that could be you as well they also like i said could be a capricorn so this could end up being a soulmate some of you are waiting for that and the best way is to let things evolve yes getting to know each other so there is someone who wants to get to know you and uh as you reveal your innermost selves to each other this bond will deepen see this could form this could be a very strong connection and yes it's safe for you to love see this is the thing is some of you because this queen of cups is pointed in the other direction so you have some issues right trust issues about whether it's safe to share your feelings with this person to move forward whether you'll ever get to that ten of cups emotional fulfillment so it's like you want this person to share their feelings with you first before you share yours and vice versa so there's going to be a little bit of an issue there so I do feel things could move forward calmly and peacefully. It's just take the time to get to know each other first. And I feel like this is a lesson you've learned. Take the time to get to know someone before you reach out and share your feelings. So lovely energy. I do feel there is some playfulness here. So just have fun with it. Just go with the flow. See where it goes. You don't have to commit. You don't have to have this instant commitment all right as long as you know that you this person is solid this is a seed that's being planted and it does take time to get to know each other this needs to be nurtured this ace of pentacles you know it can't grow without water it needs that emotion so as you get to know this person i feel this bond will deepen i feel like you will move forward together i do feel this person really does want to get to know you okay so if you've had a communication with this person and you met them at some kind of event or social media whatever it is i feel like they really did want to get to know you more but i feel like they weren't clear about how you feel maybe you had your guard up too much because you were being afraid you know someone's definitely hiding their feelings hiding their emotions so yeah so very soon this is something that could happen very soon but it's telling you to make a decision about what you want if you want to move forward with this person take your time just go with it take the time to think get your head screwed on straight all right and i feel like it's this person as well i feel like there's someone here yeah eventually this person will want to express their love let's go ahead and make that romantic gesture very soon so there is someone who's trying to make a decision at whether they want to move towards you come in get to know you but i feel because it's in the middle it's both of you but for different reasons so there is a lot of passion yeah this person feels a very strong connection i feel like this bond will grow they, there's this pull okay but this person's reining in that need to rush and it may be you as well reining in the need to rush take it slow take the time to get to know them first so really nice so there's basically messages and guidance here uh, for a lot of you aries to do things this way and some of you are already in this energy because it's here okay now even though you feel this pull towards this person take it slow take the time to get to know them i do feel this bond will deepen it will actually i feel become stronger if you go slower i know it sounds strange but if you know there it is right there you both want things to go in your favor you both want this to move forward but it's an energy of trying to be in control so it's t telling you to rein in the emotions keep your emotions in check keep your emotions out of it till you know them a bit and then just go with the flow slow and steady all right so there is your message there is a particular person here and like i said it's different some of you may even have several people coming in and it's definitely earth and air energy is very strong here i do see a sagittarius energy as well so some of you there is that little bit of fire of course capricorn and taurus is huge here uh, lovely aries so take your time get to know this person i do feel like you will bridge that gap in the communication eventually take care and bye for now